Welcome to the Sour Show. We're happy today to have um, Jeff with me, who's going to co-host the show today, to welcome Ubang. Jeff? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Ubang. Thank you for having me. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I keep Ubang. Oh, you did it right. That's the right one. <laughs> yeah. Good well, job. <laughs> well, uh, you're the, the Sarah's guest on the show. Where, where are you from? I am originally from Nigeria, in West Africa. And what brought you here? What brings you to West Hartford, Connecticut? Oh, yes, um, family. I have a family here and I- They were here before home. you came? Correct. Oh, how long have they been here? Uh, they've been here for like uh, almost 20 years. And how long have you been here? I've been here like 15 years now. Ubong is a Nigerian American now. I met Ubong a few years ago to uh, my Jamaican videographer because I also had a show called The Nonprofit World. So I used to film it in uh, Hartford. And uh, that's where I met uh, Ubong. And he's also a filmmaker. And he produces uh, very interesting movies. You know, in Nigeria, it's next to Hollywood because they have what they call Nollywood. It's Hollywood, Bollywood from India, and then Nollywood. So, Ogbong is going to tell us a little bit about what he does, about the movies and where we can find them. Oh yeah, thank you so much. So, um, like Sarah already said, I'm a movie producer. I'm also a writer and a storyteller. I produce movies, I act, and I also direct. I recently won an award of the Best African American Actor from the Indie Fest Festival. And here are my children. So I got many of my themes, both short themes and featured themes that I'm doing. Uh, mostly my movies is all about um, a lesson learned. You're gonna enjoy it, it's funny, but at the end, it's a lesson learned for everybody. So I try to co-op everyone, all the races in it. I don't just want to be, my movie is not just focusing on one, maybe in Africa or in many ways, just a conglomerate of the whole world. The movie that I'm currently doing, which we already done shooting, it's under editing right now. It's called Yes, I Do. It's a very interesting comedy romance movie of a guy falling in love with two girls and he decided he wanted to choose one, but he ended up to end up falling in the hands of a badass girl. You know what a badass is. <laughs> so it, uh, that's that's what the movie is all about. So Did you write the movie too? Oh uh, yes, I wrote the movie and I direct and I also act. I played a lead role as the main guy. Where did you tape it? Where did you shoot the movie? Oh, uh, we shot the movie here in Connecticut in different areas. We shot it in Torrington, we shot it in West Hartford, we shot it in everywhere. Mm -hmm. And we even shot it at the beach, at Mahanasa Beach. Uh, it's gonna come out um, before the end of this November, it should be out. So currently we have uh, different platforms that are waiting for it. So we're trying to negotiate to see which one is better then we'll let the world know where it's gonna be. Either it's gonna be on Netflix or it's gonna be on Tubi. But basically all my movies are on Tubi TV. Like all my featured films are on Tubi TV. So if you go to Tubi TV, you can watch any of my movies. But if you also wanna watch all of my short films, they are on my website or you can go to any of the social media, which is Facebook, it's all Ubong Inyang production. Any website, any social media that you go to, just type in Ubong Inyang production, that's me. You can watch all fun, nice, interesting short films in there. Why did you become a filmmaker? I became a filmmaker because I, I believe I was born into it. Uh, when I grew up, my parents told me that I, I play a role of Jesus Christ when I was four months old in the church. So in a church, they were doing a church program and they were doing when Jesus was born. So I was the only newborn baby in there. So they took me into play the role and I told, I'm, according to how I'm told, that I did a good job. Mm -hmm. And then when I grow up, I like writing. I keep writing stories. I've been writing a lot of stories, giving it out to all the producers back then in Nigeria and I've been doing that. So one day when I, I came over here, I was still doing the same thing. So one, day my friend came and visited me and I was writing a script called Marriage Secret and I told him I'm going to be sending it to Africa. I said why would you want to send it? Why can't you just do it? I'm like oh okay. So I started shooting the movie and then I went for it, went to school 
to learn and to get more knowledge on filmmaking and also to know the status of everything that is going on in the U.S. Uh, in the Hollywood industry, just to get all the information and get well equipped on that. What school did you go to? Post University in Waterbury. Oh, right, right. Where do you find your inspiration for the movies, the topics? My movie is a true life story. I don't just formulate any stories. It's something that happens. And then when I see something happens, and then I come back and then I write it and then add more things just to make it more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you filmed that movie uh, with uh, Miss India uh, yeah, former, called Sunita. Former Miss India, Sunita. Former so her name is Madhu Aya. Madhu Aya. I mean, how did you come up with the story? Because okay, I that, found it very interesting. Okay, that story is actually the true life story that is about me. Oh, really? Yeah, so if you watch the movie Sunita, whatever you see in there, it's about me. That's but your I... wife is not Indian. Oh, this is when that, that happens when we were, when I was young, when oh, during my okay. high school time. Okay. So I used to go out with the girl, with okay. the Indian girl. Her name was Sunita. Oh, can you tell us a little bit about the Sunita story because he doesn't know about it? Okay, so the main thing is it's better for you to go and watch it. Because when you watch it, you will know the full story. I, I don't think we have much time for me to go explain it. So this is about an Indian princess that fell in love with an African man hoping to get married, but the parents uh, being the king and the queen. So they says, no, you can't marry this African guy because he is not from India. And again, he is not from royalty. Sunita, an Indian princess, fell in love with an African man, hoping to make it forever bond. Sunita was asked to choose between her African boyfriend or an Indian prince of her father's choice. So you can't marry. So already planned and uh, arranged marriage for her to marry a prince. So but she didn't want that because she already in love with me and We've gone far throughout in the high school and you know, the college, and that's how we were, we met and then we planned in moving forward. So when that happens, they finally, um, they ask her to choose between me or the Indian prince. And then she ended up choosing me and she was banished from the kingdom. Wow, but you are so prince from Nigeria. Oh, What's yes. the name of your kingdom? The um, name of my kingdom is called Ikot Ebora. Ikot Ebora, yeah. Uh, prince, it's in Uyo Akwaibom State in uh, Nigeria. You're a prince in Nigeria, and I watch those movies from uh, Nollywood. And the prince, they have everything. They have a big mansion, they have the maidens, they have everything. So why do you live in America? Oh, like I said, family. I have my, my kids, my wife, yeah. and all my, my But you could have everything say. over there. You're just... You have your kingdom and you have everything. Yeah, I I don't really having a kingdom. I mean, I like to socialize and I like to be around. I like to other have experience people. in other places. Okay. So I just found myself here and then I adapt to this place. So I'm good. But I go to the village every day, all the time, every year. So you said one of your is it one of your your latest movie is Lessons Learned. Lesson learned. What I mean by lesson learned when you watch the movie you're going to learn a lesson at the end of the movie. And can you share what the lesson is? Uh, it, dep it depends on the movie, like um, like the Sunita movie. It's all about having love. There shouldn't be any tribalism. There shouldn't be any hatred. There should be love. Everyone should just be equal. You shouldn't say because this, this one is from here. This one is this and that. So everyone should be together to build a special world for everyone. If you know a little uh, history about Nigeria, they have the tribes. They have the Yorubas, the Igbos, the Aousas, and sometimes they cannot intermarry. Ah, uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, not just sometimes, mm -hmm. definitely. Mostly they don't want to intermarry, so they just mm -hmm. want to, uh, based on their tribe. It's and all about tribal, country, so that's why I'm trying to create that out. Yeah. Make sure that the tribe, tribalism shouldn't come in between love. So love conquers it all. So that's exactly what most of those have. Um, Isn't that something that's present in so many, I mean, throughout history and throughout different, all, all countries and societies seem to have certain rules or taboos about marrying somebody who's not your, 
you know, out of your, not not in your group. In sure, and, and, everywhere. And, but by, by like what, what you're saying, I think that that from what I gather from what you're what you're saying here is that uh, love is something that should transcend different groups or subgroups or tribes or or societies, whatever. L love is, uh, you know, uh, I mean, look at yeah. look at Romeo and Juliet. You All know right. the. Yep. The, the Montagues and the Capulets. I mean, it's, uh, these love stories are through the ages yeah. of two people who, two young, innocent people yeah. who don't know, who have not been, let's say, brainwashed All right. by their the values of their society. They just, two young people just meet each other and love each other, and all of a sudden, this tribe tribe came in between so that's exactly what it is that's exactly what that my movie sunita is all about and a few other movies like that it's it's cool but i am to play the advocate of the devil sometimes it's difficult also <laughs> if you marry somebody outside your tribe because you have to overcome so many things you know and uh, the you... parents of the other uh person that you marry and the traditions, the, the you know, rituals, they are different. And uh, I, I'm not sure if it's a good thing to put the kids through it. I mean, although it's, you know, you should not discriminate, everybody is equal. Yeah, but you have to think about the kids too. I yeah, mean, so it's all about discrimination. We, don't, we, we, we are against discrimination. Mm -hmm. We are all humans. We, we, though we come from different backgrounds, different thinking, but mm -hmm. That is, that's even the most important thing that we should come in because when I come in from a different background and with you, we can share things together. We can share ideas, plans mm -hmm. together and see what we can do to help the world. But when we come up with the discrimination being in our way, that is not good. I know we grow up when we are kids, we grow up to see that the world is all about discrimination. There's a lot of discrimination in the world. I'm against and discrimination as well, but I'm thinking also I mean, sometimes the parents, they are just trying to protect their children against, you know, overcoming so many hardships, uh, problems, other people, you know, life should not be difficult. You know, you marry someone and then you go happy. Nobody's against it. And then you have your kids. And then when you marry outside your tribe, for example, I had a friend, he's Igbo, was married to Aosa. And the lady died because the family never accepted her. You know, he was Christian, like a, a pastor. And then the Aousas, they must mostly Muslims. Yeah, mostly. So they had troubles throughout their lives. They were never happy. And finally she died. And then they said, because of uh, the traditional religion, they say, oh, you know, he killed her. You know, the family killed her, but through witchcraft. Because they never, they never liked her. And she was never happy because her family never really came to visit. And the family of the men, they did not get along. So it was, you know, really, really difficult for her. You know, and I was very saddened when she passed away. I met her in, uh, in Africa and it was, it was tough. Yeah, that, that happens a lot. It's mm -hmm. not just one place. So it's now, in the world. about your movies, where do you want to take them? Do you want to take them to Hollywood or to Nollywood? Um, are they showing on TVs in Nigeria or? Oh yes, still? when my movie is out here, the people in Nigeria they also watch me. I got all my fans in Nigeria they also watch it. So even if it's on Tubi TV or if it is on uh, Amazon, mm -hmm. Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. yeah, if it is on Amazon Prime, they have access to watch. Mm -hmm. So anyway, even if it's on Netflix, because um, mm -hmm. this current movie we're doing, uh, yes I do. We're hoping to get it on Netflix. So mm -hmm. they're actually waiting for the movie to be out for them to scrutinize it and mm -hmm. see if it made up their priority in order to get the movie in there. What do you think about that? If you could if you could pick any famous producer director, you know, Spielberg, yeah you've heard of the big names, you oh, know yeah. Spielberg and uh, George Lucas and I mean you know more you probably have a know more about them who they are. If you could pick one of them that would be Spielberg. as a partner to to write and to do a movie with, who would you pick? uh any of them because i re pretty much watch their movies i learned from them 
even though I don't make them. But whenever their movie is out, I always watch and learn a few things. And I like all of them and I appreciate all of them with what they're doing. So any of them, I Spike any, Lee, anybody, Tyler anyone. Tyler Perry. Oh, that's the main man. <laughs> so you like Tyler Perry. So any of those guys there, I am comfortable with anybody at all. I don't, I don't, I don't care who they is, but as long as he's willing to work with me, mm -hmm. I am, I'll, I'll be okay with it. So how are you happy with your life right now? Obviously, filmmaking is your passion, but you working, uh, yeah, you have um, another I, job. I, yeah, so I, why you don't uh, devote all your life to? So well, uh, filmmaking, you know, this is America. You gotta pay bills. You gotta do all things. So, like I said, yep, um, I'm what we're working towards that because in the filmmaking, you don't just get up one morning and you become what you, what you hope to be. You mm -hmm. start from gradually start from grass to grace. So if you want to force it, then you might want to end up doing what you're not supposed to do in just to get there. So it's mm -hmm. gradually. So we're moving forward with it. Mm -hmm. Going back to what we were talking about before, about two young people loving each other. Okay. And, uh, you know, in your, this specific case was the uh, Indian princess okay. and the uh, Nigerian. Yeah, an African or Nigerian. African. He's a prince. Uh, complicated because you got two two innocent kids who love each other, but then you've got it's complicated by the different cultures they come from, and the different backgrounds they have, and the values and the norms of the of the of the societies they come from. What what? But how, how in your movies? What usually prevails? What usually is the outcome? Do the boy and the girl get together, or do they are they defeated as it were? by the conflict the pressure or the conflict so definitely they don't they don't uh they always win but like i said love conquers it all who always wins are the, the the innocent kids like you said because they're pretty much innocent you, you for example i came into the united states she came into the united states i am from nigeria my parents are in nigeria her parents are in india we don't know what's going on all those uh, tradition anything over there we are here with a fresh mind, with a fresh brain, with a fresh thinking and a fresh education. So we don't know all those things, not until when we go, when we meet and then we decided, okay, let's go meet our parent. That's when the parent will start bringing in and say, hey, we have a tradition here. We gotta follow the tradition. We have this, we have that. So that's gonna kind of, what, what in the world? This is what are we talking about. No matter how arrogant and rude audacious you will marry him that is my order when you said oh we shouldn't be together because of tradition i am not going to be with you she's not going to be with you we two of us are the ones going to be together so if you don't want two of us to be together you want us to go be with someone that you like how do you expect us to be happy like for the movie she says uh you have to marry the indian prince and she's like i've never seen this indian prince how do I don't even know who, who or how he looks? How do you think I'll be able to fall in love with him? So those, those are the kind of things. So the people we should think about in that angle. Two people are coming together. They know each other. They just want to be together. They will definitely gonna stay together. Not you. Even if he goes, he finally goes to marry the India prince. They're gonna stay together. They're not gonna come in to live in your life. It is your life. What does that say to you about the parents? The parents of these two kids involved were what does that say to you what's more important to them what what appears what seems to be more important to to the to the parents Different and to parents. the other families that are involved the the love that the two people have for each other or the society's protecting the absolute protecting their tradition following and protecting their tradition is all what matters to them the Did love you, and the happiness of the two kids doesn't matter to them. So that's where the issue is. This, have you ever seen, this goes back to the 60s, this is like 50, over 50, 60 years ago. Guess who's coming to dinner? Yeah. With uh, Sidney Poitier. Guess who's coming to dinner? Sidney Poitier. Played I know, this, I wasn't born uh, by then, so. <laughs> uh, it, it, was, it was a film made, it was a, you know, uh, Spencer Tracy, Audrey, uh, no, Catherine Hepburn were the parents of this girl, this wealthy white girl, okay. 
and uh, very well educated. And she goes to off and meets this African guy, this black guy, who's a doctor, Sidney Poitier. Poitier. Okay. And they fall in love with each other. And she, they decide to get, they want to, they love each other, they want to get married. So she brings him home. That's guess who's coming to dinner? Oh. You know, this black guy is coming to, and then he calls up his parents who were from Frisco or somewhere, and he has them come down. So now you've got the, 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 the black guy and the white woman who love each other, okay. his two black parents, her two black, uh, white parents, All right. And now they're saying that, well, we're we're in love with each other. We're going to get married. That's our announcement. And they both, all, you know, both sides just go f totally freak out. And pro finally, by the end of the movie, they both, they both, after all this back and forth, back and forth right. it, it's, it, 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 it's the, as the movie concludes, uh, the resolution is that the parents, both parents, realize that uh, what's what's more important this child who I love this child this black man this white woman mm -hmm. who I love who's my child I love them and what's more important for me to have to wish and to want for my child a love or to step back and, and be and be guided by and be told be dictated right. by society what to do and they both said uh, hey look the bottom line is if you love each other we need we need it's it's on us right. parents we need to deal with it because your love for each other is much more important than how we feel about some people of different different these different backgrounds getting together it's on us to deal with it it's not on you to deal with it yeah it's on us to deal with it and that's that's something that you know like with this with the family like in your case with the indian princess and this nigerian boy yeah. they loved each other if the parents said hey we need to we is the we're the ones who need to deal with it we can't put it back on you. Correct. You're not the one who needs to deal with it. You found love. You found something that is a rare, wonderful fat part of life. Right. You found somebody to love, and we need to deal with it, not you. Wouldn't that be nice if, 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 if the if the people would look at it that way yeah so that's why we're coming up with this movie because we're trying to teach that's why i said it's a lesson learned we're trying to teach the world the parents to know this because all what matters to parents should be the happiness of your child that's all what matters like you said deal with it i could let me go deal with it oh he marries to this he marries to that he's supposed to marry to this not that but let me go deal with it but seeing them being happy that should be because the joy of the parent is to see the kids being happy. Yes. So this is all what I'm trying to project, project to the world to see. Okay, before we on, uh, before we end uh, this interview, I'd like to talk about you, one of your short movies that I saw on YouTube. It's about a gift that you gave to a woman. Oh, and, uh, okay. Can so you that tell us more about okay, that? that's called birthday gift. That's the birthday kind of a funny, gift. funny yeah. kind of thing. Um, it's also a lesson learned. When I said all my movies, even if it's short, a future. So this called, this movie is called Birthday Gift. Um, I, I, I fall in love. I'm looking for a good wife to marry. This is also why I'm looking for someone who is good for me. For young guys out there, if you're looking for uh, advice on uh, skills or tactics on how to get a good wife, watch that my movie. Go to Ubong Yang Production on Facebook or YouTube and watch the movie called Bed Day Gift. So I fall in love with this girl. I like her, but I want to know if she is the good type or if she is the materialistic kind of woman. So on her birthday, I went there, I presented her a gift. She was asking, is it gold, is it diamond? Okay, just open it. So when she opened it, behold, it is an African bread. She was mad. How dare you give me bread on my birthday? I'm like, this is how much I have, and this is what I can present to you. She was mad, oh, I can't do this. I thought it's gonna be this, and I'm out of my life. I don't wanna have you again. From today ends, so we're done. She pushed me out of the house. Like, okay. I went and had a second girl, 
and then that girl when i went to her she had bad friends around and the friends were like what are you doing with this guy this guy doesn't have money blah 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 she said that's the guy i love and then when i go in there i presented the same gift again and then she said when she opened it it was bread they were all mock, laughing mocking at her but she said we're gonna eat this bread because this is what he has and i accept it with good faith and everybody said okay but they were still laughing so she went and grabbed a knife when she sliced the bread you want to open behold there is a mercedes-benz car key a brand new mercedes-benz car key inside the bread she said, what he said well i was looking for someone who's gonna love me for who i am and not money for anything you are the one that's a car key for you so that's how it is and there is so those are kind of lessons learned that you want to learn something from you want to know something so it's kind of funny but at the end you learn something in it so that's what it's all mm -hmm. about Eddie Murphy coming to America. <laughs> right? Didn't want her to know that he was a wealthy prince. Correct. Yeah. So it's a it's a theme that goes on through the through the ages. Correct. And you pick you picked up on it. And I think that's a, I think that says a lot about what kind of a, you know it's, it's a reflection of what kind of a person you are. Yep. To to uh, want to to focus on on love yep. and people loving each other yep. whether it's two people or whether it's you know two societies whether it's two races yep. whatever it is just love each other Correct. That's, the, that's, the, that's what it is yeah. is there anything you'd like to add before we uh, nothing say more that. just thank you guys for having me and anyone that want to watch just watch out for my movie yes I do that's the title it's going to be very interesting comedy romance movie it's coming at this end of this month or by December. Do you have a website, Instagram? Oh, oh yeah, so my Instagram is Ubong Inyang Production. Uh, you go to Facebook, it's still Ubong Inyang Production. All the websites you may think of, but once you go Ubong Inyang Production, that's where I am. You see all my stuff and all the information. Spell, spell, spell that. Spell so that's Ubong is U B O N G. That's your first name. That's the first name. And the last name is I N. Y A N G. Ubon and, and then production. P R O D U C T I O N. So that's okay. where you see anything you want to look at. Me, any so we're very happy to have Ubon today with us at uh, Sarah's show. And we look forward to watching more great movies from you in the future. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. It's a pleasure.